So hello everybody, it is still power week. Can you believe it? I've made like, I don't know, four videos, five videos already and we still have uh, a few to go. So in today's video, it is Monday, so it's going to be about Power Query and they have made some great things in Power Query that I want to show you. So back to Power BI, this is the Northwind dataset that we always use and it is free link down below if you want to check it out we're going to go right away into power query to see what the news are so the first thing is data profiling and um i, I don't use it very often because i found that it was a bit too slow and it was slowing down my work but i do have to say that i like you know the you know, if everything is green, it means that everything is okay. And if there is an error, I get a red line there. So for me, that's good. That's good enough. But uh, if you need more data profiling, and data profiling is basically how does my data look like? What is the max? What is the mean? Um, how many unique values I have? How many distinct values I have? I already have a video on data profiling. I will link down below so you can understand what the heck I'm talking about. I go into more detail in that video. So what they've done is add some things to this. So you have the column distribution, and this is the one that I thought it took a little bit, I don't know, it was a bit long, <laughs> you know, to load. So I'm not, I don't have it on, to be honest. But, so this tells you how many distinct and unique values. If you don't know what that is, check the video down below. And um, it works very well. Now they have added column profile, and it, it gives you like the, the scripted statistics of that column, kind of. So it tells you the count, how many errors, how many empty, how many distinct, how many unique, and then it gives you the mix and the man, the mean and the max, and it does it even for text value. So as you can see here, I have customer ID, and it's given us in alphabetic order what is the first value and what is the last value, which in certain cases can be useful actually. And then here is the column distribution, how often that particular value occurs in the column. And because customer ID is an ID, obviously it's going to be the same, but if we pick, um, uh, maybe a customer table is not the best one to do this, maybe country. So it will give you the distribution of the country. So for example, here you can see that the US for the North Wind data set is where most of the customers come from. And you can see right away in here, you don't need to do anything else. So it is useful in certain ways, okay? And then you have column quantity that it tells you how many are valid, error empty. I think this was also there before. Um, and what I like is, you know, do you see the bars in there? I really enjoy that because it really helps me visually very quickly to be able to see how many uh, empties and errors and valids I have um, and sometimes it's very useful when I'm troubleshooting so that's great I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it we'll see I will give you an update after a while when they make some new changes uh, I haven't used it a lot uh, for now so if we continue with the improvements they have uh, made improvements into fuzzy merge and I have a video about what that is and how it works. It's linked down below, so go check it out if you don't know what it is, but it's basically, go and check it out. There, I have an entire video explaining everything about it. So the news there is that it's generally available, it wasn't before, and they have improved the speed of what the match is done. So it says that it's 60 times the speed as it was before. So if you were experiencing that fast immersion was too slow, go and check it out again because it might not be slower anymore, okay? Now, my favorite one of the Power Query updates is gotta be, it's gotta be, let me take away all this stuff, is gotta be IntelliSense. So first of all, if you don't know what is IntelliSense, IntelliSense is basically um, you know, before when you go, for example, to the advanced editor, this was like a notepad. You got no help to writing code whatsoever. And because Power Query is case sensitive, you know, you have to be very, very, very careful about how you wrote things. 
not anymore because intelligence is, helps you write the code so it suggests what type of functions there are there it suggests uh, what type of uh, um, step names you have or column names and it is easier to just tap 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 until you find the right one that you write it and write it incorrectly okay so it's very very useful so the news is that intelligence is available now in the advanced editor which it was before it is also available in the format bar if you don't have the format bar you have to go to view formula bar formula bar is called so make sure you turn that on always and there we have also intelligence i use the formula bar all the time and if you watch my power query videos from monday you know all the time i'm tinkering with the formula bar to change column names you know from what is being suggested to change types to add code to remove code i do all kinds of stuff and the fact that we have intelligence there is very 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 useful when they first launched it they didn't wrap the text and I almost got a heart attack because I use the formula bar so, so much that, you know, if you have to scroll like a thousand miles just to get to where you are, it just drove me nuts. But they fixed it very, very quickly. Thank you. So I love the formula bar. I think it's really good. And they have added in another place. Let me show you. So we go to add column, custom column. Uh, in here, you have intelligence also. And... I don't know if you know, most of you know already that I come from the business world. So, you know, I'm always very jealous when I see people that have been programming for ages that they know all these shortcuts, the tabs and the controls on there. And they can write things very, very, very quickly. So obviously with intelligence is going to be very helpful. But, you know, most of the shortcuts that every programmer know, I have to discover. <laughs> So I have to start from scratch. And every time I discover anything you know, I tell you. So I'm going to show you something. Let's start writing something here. So we write, I don't know, text. You see, this is what intelligence does. It just suggests something. And then let's say te text contains. That's what we want to add. And uh, here it gives you a pop-up like it does in DAX. Like, okay, this is how this uh, formula should be filled in to, to be able to make it work. And then, check this out, control space. No. So we write like that, I guess, control space. And then it will give you all the values that you have available in your data set. Instead of going here and picking them up like that, you can just go in there and pick them from there. I'm so happy about that. You have no idea. When you write, you know, like this, it writes both instead of writing just one. So now you just have to get used to always oh, writing both and then do it twice. But I think it's great. It's going to allow us to be more effective and have less errors when writing M code. So absolutely love it. Brilliant work. Thank you. Thank you. And you know how I found out that this control space, it was here. So programmers, if you know any shortcuts about how to write intelligence, you know, like super fast, like a programmer, like a pro, how about you write a blog post or you give me in the comments below so I can make a video about it so I can learn and then I can show everybody else how you guys do it. Because that, those are skills that I don't have and I would love, love, love to have to be able to write faster. Okay, I'm making this video too long. I'm going to shut up. Absolutely love M Intelligence. It's great. So go take it out. It is generally available, so it's not a preview feature. You don't have to click anything anymore. Great job, Microsoft. Thank you, Power BIT. Thank you. And I'll see you again on the next video. Bye.